Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on dimensional analysis. Okay, on this video, let's see, we find 5,682,145 pennies. If each penny weighs four grams, how many tons of pennies did you find? Okay, so we have some conversion factors there. But let's start with that 5,682,145 pennies. I'm writing the word penny to save a little space. All right, and each penny weighs four grams. So if I multiply this fraction by four grams is equivalent to one penny. I can multiply by this because four grams and one penny being equal to each other means that this is equivalent to multiplying by the quantity one. And when you multiply a number by one, you're not inherently changing anything. One is a multiplicative identity. So you can multiply by one and not change the original number. So we're multiplying by one, but we're multiplying by an interesting one, four grams over one penny. Now in fractions, when you're multiplying or dividing, if the number in the numerator and denominator is the same, you can cancel, divide them out. The thing is, the same thing works for labels. And so it's the fact that the penny appears in the numerator and denominator and it's the same label means that they can also, like numbers, cancel. So if I multiplied the 5,682,145 by four, I would find out how many grams of weight I was holding. All right, so now I know how many grams I have of pennies, but I wanna know how many tons of pennies I found to see you know, could I find these pennies and throw them in my back pocket and go home with them? Well, all I have in my conversions up here is grams to kilograms. And again, this is equivalent to one. So I want to get rid of grams and I want to go to kilograms. So if I want to get rid of grams, and I just talked about how they cancel numerator to denominator, I have to put the 1,000 grams in the denominator so that the labels cancel and then the one kilogram comes here in the numerator. So where, what I want goes in the numerator and what I have goes in the denominator. What I want, what I have. Okay, well, I want tons. I have to go through pounds, but I have a conversion between pounds and kilograms here. So I want pounds, 2.2 pounds. What I have is kilograms, one kilogram. Again, this is equivalent to one. It's an interesting one, but it's just one. And so if you're multiplying by one, you're not inherently changing a number. It just seems like you are. The kilograms cancel. Now we're in pounds. To get to tons, we multiply by the fact that one ton is 2,000 pounds. The pounds cancel. All right, when we put this into a calculator, every number in the numerator multiplies, every number in the denominator divides. So you put into your calculator 5,682,145 times four divided by 1,000 times 2.2 divided by 2,000 equals, and you're gonna get 25 tons. So, no, we're not putting that in our back pocket. That's a little bit more than we can carry. Okay. If you decide to use that money to take everyone you know to an amusement park and each ticket at the amusement park, park costs $72, how many people can you bring? All right, so let's see. We have 5,682,145 pennies. And this time we're not gonna go to wait, we want money. Well, I know that $1 is worth 100 pennies. Pennies cancel. But we also know that one ticket is worth $72. And again, these labels are canceling as we go along. So we take our pennies, divide 100, divide by 72, and our answer comes out when we multiply this out to 789. Point one, which means we can bring 789 friends with us, which sounds like quite a party. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!